and welcome to Means Woodshop and today I'm gonna show you how to make this neat little coffee scoop this is pretty easy and it came with some uh, drawbacks which you'll see in the video making a coffee scoop out of this apple wood that I cut up yesterday and uh, I had some problems when I cut up this apple wood yesterday and I have a clip from that once I got into it with the chainsaw this is riddled with termite damage and a bunch of termites are still in there uh, what are you going to do? so right now we're going to draw out our design actually I don't, I don't have a particular uh, size or measurement that I want this cut to be I'm just making it kind of just how I want it to look and I found this washer. It actually took me a minute to find something about the size that I wanted. But I think this washer will work fine. And right here where this weird little divot is. See, we got that on our circle. There's, a, there's the beginning of our coffee scoop. I was going to take this damn thing to the drill press and get a lot of this out of the way. I can't find the damn chuck key for the drill press. So we're going to go all gnarly on it and this could throw a wrench in our coffee scoop. But we're going to proceed anyways. Okay, here we get a little flag on our drill so we don't go down too far why doesn't anybody ever do anything with apple wood I don't know maybe, maybe leave an answer to that down in the comments I have seen some apple wood projects but not Really not that many. Does it just suck? Does nobody like it? That's why you use clamp. Got using a flag too. So it kind of sweeps off all your gunk on there. There I might have gone a little too far, so it'd travel on. See if the I had the chuck key, this wouldn't be a problem. Okay. No, I think I could break out the chisels and call that good. We're going to cut out the shape of our coffee scoop. I'm going to clamp this little dude down here on the table. Where your dad burn eye protection? We're going to cut out the shape with uh, the jigsaw. <laughs> Before we continue with this, I'd also like to remind you that here in East Texas, it is September now, but it's still super duper hot, so when you're out here working, you need to stay hydrated. I've got a Dr. Pepper from McDonald's, but remember to drink your water too. I've only been out here for like 20 minutes, so it's not a big deal for me, but it is for you. You can see with my jigsaw, I've cut out right outside of the lines. I don't have any like super fancy sanding crap, so we're gonna use this belt sander to get it down to how we want it to be. Okay, we got it 
it down to a much more manageable shape. I'm beginning to feel like this apple wood is a curse because ever since I cut it up, the log was riddled with termite damage. And it's just, I've been able to yield very little usable wood out of it. And it's just kind of, it's just kind of a bunch of crap. I don't know if I ever want to touch apple again, but I'm, I'm determined to get something out of it. So right now we are going to do a little bit more shaping on our handle. I drew out a little profile for our handle and I'm about to work on it with this hand saw to cut it out. Because I don't have a band saw like all oh, you other fancy guys, so we're just going to do it this way. The old fashioned way. You know, the way the great people do it. The way people have been for years. There's a reason to make power tools. So I reckon that that is low enough right there. Put on the vise now. The person that used to live here decided to put this vise here and the shop all the way over there um, so yeah what the fuck? if any of y'all have a bandsaw that you don't want anymore send me a message You can totally cut a profile on a coffee scoop without a bandsaw. So now we're gonna go all the way back to the shop. Before you all even say it, I cut this with a crappy miter saw. Before you, you go on a tangent about not taking care of your tools, this isn't my miter saw. I don't know where it came from. It already looked like crap, but it did what I wanted it to do, so you'll have to live with it. profile of this coffee scoop roughly on the belt sander and I think before I get any further I'm gonna switch to chiseling out the scoop part chiseled out enough well I think it'd probably use a little more but I'm gonna call it good I did have a little problem with the chisel I broke off this edge piece but that will be glued back on and I can and clean it up later so really all that's left on this is maybe a little bit more shaping some sanding and the uh, finish and then it's done. All right, so it's dark right now, or it's getting dark. I had to stop what I was doing and go to a birthday dinner for my mom. I don't know what that was. Here's the coffee scoop. The glue is dried up now. So, we're just gonna take a random orbit sander and start doing a cleanup on it. <laughs>
just a skosh mode for good measure. That's it for our little Applewood coffee scoop. Um, I hope through this video that uh, maybe it inspired you maybe to try to make something or make your own. I'm not sure. This is a good place to start because I made this all with limited tools. Um, you saw that I ran into some setbacks like I couldn't find the chuck key for the drill press so uh, if I had it I could have just stuck a forstner bit in there and just ran it right in there and bam I have the inside of my cup but I couldn't find that chuck key so I was forced to carve it out by hand but I did it and I don't have a band saw so you saw that I could just take a regular hand saw and cut these shapes and then sand it to shape myself and really that was it and this is now going to replace this flimsy little plastic scoop that I think it came with my coffee pot I don't remember but now I can go in the trash because I got this out of Applewood and it actually is really pretty after I put some oil on there it looks really nice and it kinda has like a little age so almost kinda like a rustic look to it well, it's gonna live here now inside and in, right with the coffee if you do decide to make one then maybe leave it in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't well oh well there's, there's nothing I can do about it thanks for watching